Hello everybody and welcome back to Lucky by Nature. So what are my thoughts on other YouTubers stealing our ideas? Uh, I'm sure many of you know that we have been involved in useless drama in the past and that's not really something that we want to get back into nor something that we want to expose you guys to. We are all about helping each other because our ultimate goal is to make videos that will help you all have a better gaming experience. I myself just got accused of stealing the Carquino strap from another YouTuber by the name of Captain Fat Dog. And I went to check out his channel and I actually liked his better because I like the way it looks. There are a few little issues here and there that I saw. So I would definitely do tweaks to it to make it better and more effective. But I definitely think that we could benefit from each other. I also saw that he had taken my old golem trap and made that better and that makes me pretty happy. So in other words, I don't see him taking my trap and changing it up. I don't see that as stealing. I mean, he's just making something better. So, you know, for the person that uh, told me basically, hey, you stole his, his trap. No, actually, I didn't even know about it. In fact, that's why mine looks the way it looks. And the nonsense that I went through to try to figure it out definitely would have saved me a lot of time if you had told me that earlier but hey anyways up until now I have always put my blinders on and zoned out as I tried to figure out stuff and some of you got to see how I came up with the whole honey taming quetzal method I had never tried it before and I came up with it on the spot and eventually got it to work flawlessly it does take practice so don't give up for those of you that are still trying to do it now, as far as the new YouTuber, welcome to the art community. Guys, it's hard enough just trying to get a new YouTube channel going. And I did go to see what you guys were talking about. And what I saw is pretty much a man trying to put all the information he knows about ARC onto his channel. Uh, he seems like a nice enough man, so I don't think he's actually stealing ideas, but more like he's putting out the information that he knows, probably not realizing that most of the stuff he's putting out came from us originally. Take the golem trap, for example, or the wyvern trap. Uh, these have been so popular through official and unofficial servers that this is probably what newer players know to use without realizing who designed them. So I think that's all it is. And I don't think that there is anything wrong with that. I myself am redoing a lot of our old stuff because so much has changed but bottom line is no drama for us uh, there are youtubers that want to be first putting out content and that's okay we don't mind because our subs are pretty loyal and they will still watch our silly ideas and methods even if we are not first uh, there are YouTubers that don't want anything to do with us because uh, we are not big enough and they only deal with YouTubers bigger than them so they can siphon subs and get bigger. Well, we are community oriented. We don't have size envy. We are perfectly happy with the subs we got. But that's pretty much it for my little rant if that's what you want to call it. So until next time, keep surviving. My work saved the human race. Oh,